Hi everyone, Mike Nelson here on Satellite Love. We're Hey man. Oh, hey, sir. What are you saying? I'm short, huh? What? Whoa. No, I was going to ask where you've been. Oh, well, I had karate and I swung by the gym to lift because I had some extra time before picking up my hot new girlfriend, Christy, who will most likely wear her thong as she clings to me in the back of my Harley. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna make out in public a little. Servo, you look different. Hey, hey, you've got lifts in your hover skirt, don't you? Hey, man, you? watch what you're saying there, man. <laughs> you do, you have lifts in your hover skirt. All right, that's it. Come hey, on, hey, whoa, 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 easy, take easy. It easy. Tom, I'm, I'm afraid you've got short man's disease, what? okay? It's the tendency for height challenge males to overcompensate for a perceived lack of maquis. So what, are you saying I'm short, huh? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm afraid that is implicit. Oh, man. No problem, though. We just rub a little baby aspirin oh, no. on oh, your no, tongue. No. Be fine. No, 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 There, that's better. We'll be right back. Can I keep my up, Chuck? We'll see, honey. Violet oh, shrimp, little God. baby short man. We'll see. Well, how's your courageous battle with short man's disease? Oh, I'm over that. Turns out I'm not even short. <laughs> right. Huh. Well, uh, how about your face, Servo? Does your face hurt? Uh, no, why? Because it's killing me! <laughs> <laughs> really? Oh, jeez, I'm sorry, Crow. I'll have that checked right away. Man. Oh, never mind. Oh, I had no Let's see what Pearl and them want. <sighs> Just ruin my joke, why don't you? Nice to see you, Nell Kirk. I only have a moment. I'm expecting everyone for the ball. Isn't it marvelous? Everyone, simply everyone, is invited to my ball. Except, um, let's see, except uh, Michael J. Nelson, Crow T. Robot, Gypsy, and a Tim Servo. I'm dreadfully sorry there just wasn't enough room. And this, this is my first ball. Why, the walls of this castle fairly hum with the unearthly presence of parties past. Listen. <laughs> I'm telling you, lawgiver, these can apes are flying out of here. I can barely keep up with myself. <laughs> well, anyway, this ball shall celebrate the triumphant return of a forester to this dwelling of evil. Well, that sounds great, Pearl. I uh, hope your party's a big success. When does the ball start? two and a half hours ago. Okay, I'm gonna need you guys to pretend like you're part of the party. I think that will really draw in the rest of the guests. So come on, mingle. Make it look like you're having fun. <laughs> what a marvelous anecdote. On, so, yeah. now, how do you know Pearl? Ah, uh, well, she's got me trapped up here, actually. Really? Yeah. How awful for you. Say, Mike, you're going to introduce me to your purple friend here? But don't you dare, Nelson. Oh, I say, everyone, oh, everyone, let's play charades in the parlor. <laughs> baby, why you got to go? She's oh, glorious. Oh, forget it. You couldn't mingle your way out of a wet paper Bang, if it was perfect. Love, love. Bring guy, what? you must get ready for the ball. It, it might be going to start soon. Well, thanks anyway, Pearl, but I'm just going to stay in tonight. It worked. Everyone, they're here. Everyone. This way, Ortega. I invited Ortega over tonight to watch sliders in my room. We, we won't get in your way. <laughs> oh, thank you, Ortega. You look gravishing, too. Oh, right this way, you guys. This is Ortega's cousin Stacy and her boyfriend Brian. This is uh, Pearl. Mm. So anyway, we won't get in your hair. Come on, you guys. Brian, how's it hanging? Yeah, I hope we won't disturb you with all the fun we'll be having. Okay, you kids, you're gonna watch a movie while Pearl has company. It's Puma Man, and no coming downstairs during Pearl's party. Oh, by the way, Pearl, if anyone else should happen to swing by, just point them back to my room. Thanks a lot. Of course. Uh, Goose, Mark and Apes, sheesh. I'm eating these things faster than I can turn them out. <laughs> Ooh, junior Min. <laughs> oh crap. I got bean dip all over my new silk organza tool strapless dotted switch. Oh, wow, and now we got to move down. Down. What else is gonna go wrong? Oh, of course it is fighting me. <laughs> Gave himself such a peppy name. 
Oh, okay, okay. Listen, you guys. An ancient yeah. Aztec legend tells of a god yeah, yeah. <laughs> descended to Earth from the stars. <laughs> oh, and you know what? I've heard this. I'm oh, sorry. Okay. Yeah. It's a good one. Never mind. Mm-hmm. It's funny. Well. Hmm. Wow. The aliens really cherried out their spaceship. Christmas ornaments of the gods. Hot bathosphere action. No one knows who they were or what they were doing. I speak to all humanity. Can you hear me in the back? With this mask, Ah. I will always be with you. Oh, that'll be fun. My son will be its custodian, as will be the sons of his son. Well, gotta go. Through the ages, he will have the powers of a man-god. The powers of a Puma Man. And the power of Bleach. The Puma Man. Does that sound right? The Puma Man. I think that's what I mean to say. The Puma Man. Now it just sounds funny. (laughs) Well, there's a couple of Aztec names for you. Oh, Thepumamon. Copyright 1462? What is that? (laughs) I think you need to study your Roman numerals. Uh. Tonight on a very special Touched by a Puma Man. Now the little hand towels are for our guest star. Yeah, a bunch of hairy guys in thongs sat down and wrote a screenplay. With Randall Tex Cobb as the mask. Oh, he's the consigliere of this film. And I'm by Pazan or Michael Billingsley. At least this movie will have nice shoes. Back, back, back! It's a home run! Well, someone seems to have gilded you, and that's what's causing your skin problems. Ah, I can't help but feel that you're staring at me. Die, Aunt, die! There's something wrong with this mirror. (laughs) Well, Jane? Are you getting serious? Do you think you can decipher it? Uh, If you need your toast buttered, ma'am, I'm your man. Yes, it's an Aztec inscription about a man with the blood of a god in his veins (laughs) who comes from outer space. Georgette Relic Hunter. A puma man. I guess what I meant was, uh, are you going to type those letters? I also serve as a napkin holder, ma'am, if you need that. Please, continue. It's fascinating. It's a curse. It says the F word. Are they all trying to make weight? (laughs) Whoever desecrates the Puma God image will in turn be destroyed by the living Puma Man. That's ridiculous. It's just a legend. I'm confused. Now I'm happy. (laughs) Sometimes there is more truth in legends. Than in history. And there's more salt in ham than in turkey. So the curse can strike you too. I always prefer to strike first. Well, I hope that striking first thing works out real good for you. Oh, Idol's got a fanny pack. Oh. Intel inside. Ding, 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 ding. Incredible. A 3,000 year old find. Oh, boy. It conceals unthinkable technology. We got to hire a brunette. But, but this is proof of an outer space presence in our history. She said that about waffles. It's an incredible discovery. An egg. Oh, it's Donald Pleasant. We must inform the press. That is not for you to decide. That's Cheryl Ladd's department. You can't hide this. Who is to prevent me? A halfway smart guy with muscles and hair? Miss Dobson. Could you gift wrap this for us? Hit me with your best slap shot. Your mind. Oh, did you put an aspirin in my coke? And your will. Oh, they control the will game again. Belong to me. I have a receipt. Forever. I think controlling your will might involve slow gin and a Trans Am. Uh-oh. Hey. Oh. Did somebody put on leaded in this thing? 
Now this is what it's like when I put my contacts on inside out. Hey, telekinetic book dumping. Go now. And obey. Get me a soda pop and a caramello. It's S&M Day at the Field Museum. <laughs> oh, let me try, let me try. Uh, who did we get this from? Is, is there a card with this? Oh, is halftime over? What's the score over there? I am the supermodel of Christmas past. It's basically an old baby. We'll make slaves of men with this mask. And we'll rule fish, too. We'll dominate the world. Who can stop us? With my brains and your beauty. The Puma Man. Puma Man. <laughs> we must find him. Then we'll lock him in a pet taxi. And kill him. Or send him a cease and desist letter. Ah! Ah! Hey look, Big Ben. Ah! The downsizing, Steve. The Greg Lugina's London Special. Call our 900 number and vote. Oh, a new Big Bird action wear. I'm supposed to be in Biolab. Man, how much patchouli do you need? Ted Cassidy in his most sensitive role yet. He's got a great butt. <laughs> this is where Cher stores her discarded ribs. <laughs> I'm Bernie Coppell. Yes, sir, I know. I mustn't mistake this museum for a gym. Oh, you're well aware of that, are you? Yes, and I'm also aware I'm not supposed to work out during museum hours. And now a word from my sponsor. What's the matter? Do you feel sick? No. I get this way when I sense danger. Or when I eat a sack of White Castles. Well, you've sensed rightly. You're in danger of being fired. Yeah, I don't care. I'll work in my uncle's natural history museum down the block. You, you, you non-British guy. Fluffy seems to be eating less and less and getting thinner and thinner. Yeah, who am I kidding? I can't build a cat. <laughs> Sweater that says, I've read the works of Alan Alda. I'm looking for something in a phone. Maybe a femur, pelvis, sack of patellas, maybe. You're, you're not going to pour molten gold down my throat, are you? <laughs> All right, pencils down, class. The dry look from Gillette. Uh oh. Shop lifting a hip bone for his grandma. He goes. Yeah, this is why 7 Elevens allow no more than three Aztecs at one time. I want to tell Mr. Weatherby. Hey, hey, that was my scapula. I just took it out to air dry. Now he takes out a personal ad. Saw you in museum. You took bone. I chased you. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Whoop! Sorry! <laughs> I'm fine. I used up a perfectly good pants wedding for that. Hmm? Oh, how am I ever going to get back in there? This is hopeless. I should just go home. Yep. He can sense danger. A post-it note can sense danger better than this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'll duck into Willa Cather's ancestral home. Is that <laughs> if I were a rich man on harpsichord? Or? I believe it was. I'm still not sensing danger. Is this about the pens I took? Oh. You the guy who's been writing anti-Aztec stuff on the bathroom walls? Anthony Robbins. You are the Puma man. Actually, he's John Davidson man. 
Just gonna edge the lawn real quick here. This always happens. People throw me out the window, tell me I'm Puma Man, then leave. <laughs> um, <clears throat> grr. You hear my mighty roar? Grr. Mm. I'm gonna tell my boss I'm Puma Man. Maybe he'll let me off early. Puma Man. Well, I sure hope you don't see this guy going to heat at some point. <laughs> Ugh. <Ew>. Sorry. Ugh. <laughs> Where are the Faye Dunaway auditions? Did a dinosaur get away? No, but he sure looked like one. And you're hunting him down with that club. Look, I don't have any change. Leave me alone. <laughs> um, tell me, are we meeting in a dream? I don't think so. Then it's really true. I fell from the third floor. My hair looks great. Aren't you hurt? No, just a little confused. Hey, a see-through hat. My name's Jane Dobson, and I'd like to consult you about a brief thesis on the Mesozoic era. Hmm? Well, if you're asking me how flying relates to man's evolution, I don't know. <laughs> We're a fun couple, aren't we? Do we have to discuss this here? Ooh. Is that a proposition? <clears throat> no, it's an invitation <sighs> to my house tonight. Yeah. My father's having a couple of friends over, and I was wondering if you could join us. I've, I've got all my books there, and it would be easier. This is the address. Oh, wait, that's my recipe for olive loaf. An invitation to the Dutch embassy? Does that scare you? Uh-huh. The Dutch are mean. Well, try to overcome it. My father's the ambassador. OK. I'll even bring my ceremonial club. <laughs> come any way you like, but come. Now, that's got to be a proposition. Mm. See you tonight, 9 o'clock. Someone will show you where to park the cars. Zuba's top with a lab coat and a veil, and it works. <laughs> and this is from the Missing Persons Collection. I'm a wood sprite. Is she in mourning for her turtle? Is that why the hat? Bum, ba, 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 bum, ba, bum. Mentos, the fresh maker. <laughs> I've reconsidered. I don't want you to come to my party. I've contacted Tony Farms. There's a high probability it's him. Did you carry out my orders? Yes, sir. He'll come to my house for dinner tonight. I don't have to listen to that. We got our paychecks in today, sir. Everything coincides, sir. Looks like we found the right man. Fine, Ranker. Yeah, yeah. I do hope so. If only for the sake of the others. I hope to be as bald as you someday, sir. Well, we'd better sponge out our outfits. I'm going to say mass if you want to hang around. <laughs> well, get over here and pick out a wig and let's go trick-or-treating. Pleasant mobile away. Listen to me, Dobson. Everything is as planned for this evening. But there is one slight alteration. The party tray is coming from Subway. I shall be at your house myself. Why would you have a bust of Ron Ely in your home? <laughs> Dismiss the servants. I don't want any strangers interfering. It's kind of a noticeable tick. <laughs> Parachute slash bow tie. Oh, what? Damn clapper. Jeez. David Burney is the Aramis man in Wait Until Dark. There's cherry Kool Aid in my saline bottle. Wanna see the pictures? Your boudoir shots turned out great. Now plunger him senseless. No one interrupts my prom preparations. Every room in this hotel comes with an Aztec. You see in the dark. Hmm? You fall like a cat. You are the Puma Man. <laughs> no, I'm a madman and I'll smash your head in if you take one more step. Puma Man does not kill my people. He doesn't, but I do. Now get out of here! You can chase me away, but not the blood in your veins. <laughs> your father saw in the dark. Your father jumped in the air. Your father protected my people. Mm -hmm. My father was a physician. 
The only people he protected were his patients. A doctor here, but a great Puma man in the Andes Plateau. Oh yeah, he was for a couple years. Mm, you're a crazy criminal, but this is the last time you go around throwing people out of windows. Mm. Before you call the police. Caress. Look. I'm a representative of Az Technologies. Definitive proof that he has a copy of that picture. You were only a boy at the time. Then you were a girl, and then you were a boy again. I did not need to kill to find you. I kill for fun. Who are you, anyway? My name is Vadinho. I'm an onion. I'm the high priest of the <laughs> temple of the god who came from other worlds. What do you want from me? I came to give you this. Whoa, hey! It belonged to your father. With this, you will have all the powers he did. For your money back. I will teach you to use them. Put it on. You're nuts. I said put it on. The hell with putting it on. Can you imagine me showing up at the Dobsons wearing something like that? And look what you're wearing now, I mean. I say put it on. And you say put it on. <laughs> you put it on. Okay, pal, okay. Take it easy. You know, I hate it when Aztecs force themselves into your hotel room and make you try on belts. Mm -hmm. Nothing worse. Wow, look at all the Farrah Fawcett posters. <laughs> hey, where's your phone? I want to check my Aztec messages. Come in, nanites. Hey, Spike, what are you doing? Oh, I'm gonna get a hair appointment with the nanites. Thinking of getting that dry look like the guy in the Puma movie. Mike, your sense of style, as always, is unerring. Go for it, you turkey. I ain't gonna help you. Oh, uh, yeah, I had a hair appointment for now. Oh, hi, Mike. Are we gonna do the same as last time, or? Oh, uh, well, hi, Shelly. Uh, no offense, but, you know, last time you made my hair, like, 70 miles high. So I was wondering if any of the other stylists were available, you know, Deca or Jean Del. Oh. I see. I understand. Great, because, you know, I don't mean to... They're all busy. I just checked. It's just me. Now, what do you want? Whoa. Uh, well, if I could, uh, get the, uh, the, the dry look. If it's not too much trouble. <laughs> trouble? Why would it be any trouble? It's no trouble at all. So, you got that day off today, or do you live around here, or is it pretty nice off today, or... There, you're done with the dry look. Well, uh, thanks, Shelly. I hope I didn't offend you. Ooh, so sensitive, man. Mike, I think she might have went just a little too dry. Ah, what are you talking about? I'm sure it's out. Ooh, well, maybe she went a little heavy on the moose, but <laughs> once I shower, I'm sure it'll be fine. We'll be right back. You know, if we can just redirect the river onto your head, I think we can salvage it. <sighs> so you like it? I'd like to introduce you to Professor Farms, the paleontologist yeah. I spoke so much to you about. Welcome, Professor. Thank you. These are some old guys. Sir George Bradley of the Energy Ministry, Sir John Forbes Asquith, Sir Michael Robinson. Minister of Wattles. <laughs> Where's the keg? We're here to pick up our Grammys? Um, <clears throat> I'm afraid I ran over your dog in the driveway. I'm very sorry. My name is Pleasance, and I am funky. It's better than when he wore his little black dress, I suppose. Battle of the Network eye bags. Oh, no, they're going to start tangoing. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is a no English has-beens party. What kind of party clown are you? I'm not paying for this. Hip Donald Room Clearer Pleasants. It's my irritable bowel syndrome, isn't it? With Mitchin, I can skip a day. <laughs> Sugar Frosted Eyes. I was supposed to bring an appetizer, wasn't I? <laughs> well, who's for foosball? Another one of my father's very important friends. Oh, I thought it was your aunt. <laughs> what, what's the matter? I'm bored. I don't know. 
I get this way when I sense some sort of danger. Or some sort of breasts. Ooh. With me? What could be dangerous? Wearing loose-fitting clothing around a power takeoff could be dangerous. <laughs> Your charm, perhaps. <laughs> You're not doing so badly yourself for a paleontologist. <laughs> well, I'm from the Neanderthal school. And occasionally my primitive instincts pop up. Want to go and circle a mammoth later? <laughs> You're sounding much better, Professor. You make me feel like I'm still in the museum. Why don't you just call me Tony? Okay. Tony? Let me show you the way out. Please don't come back. This is where I keep all my books. So, dinosaurs became extinct because they no longer knew how to love each other. Is that correct? In the wrong kind of way, sure. Exactly. And I certainly wouldn't want our species to end the same way. <laughs> All aboard! That's the best biological blackmail I've ever heard. Wow. Uh, Mike, this is called kissing. Maybe you can try this with someone someday. Oh, well, thanks. Maybe... Hey! <laughs> Pounding Eddie Rabbit. Oh. Man, the Dutch Embassy's neighbors must always be calling the cops. Tiny halls for the narrow shouldered among us. Great. We're late for tap class. Ironic. He looks like a waiter and he's dumb. <laughs> Al Pacino's elevator. Apparently the house capsized and he and Shelley Winters have to climb up through the basement. <laughs> oh, man, I gotta get that order out to table six. Why is the kitchen so far from the dining room? He's in an attic, uh, attic, uh, attic, uh, attic, uh, attic. <laughs> He's gonna write Puma Man rules on the wall. Thank goodness they made their house out of peanut brittle. <laughs> so basically a mild rain could take out that roof. Well, it's my favorite ball. I will not lose it. Man, there's a lot of reindeer crap up here. Like an idiot on the roof. <laughs> Spends the next three hours running from edge to edge. <laughs> Donnie! It's Gino. I've been looking for you, you mook. Here, here's a garter snake for you. The world's most persistent belt salesman. <laughs> there, lower yourself down with that. Put it on! Then what? Jump! I'll be killed! Put it on! And then get killed! Oh, you know, my mom had a pair of earrings that did the exact same thing. <laughs> no, I mean, you look great, really. <laughs> Idiot. Jump now! I'm not a bird! Fly! You know, first thing he does is poop on my car. <laughs> look out for the... Oh! boy, right into the propeller. Yo. Oh, he gave him the Captain Dork costume by mistake. <laughs> Poo, a man, he flies like a moron. Dun, dun, dun. He has the power to rear project major cities. Now a bird gets sucked into his engine and he goes down immediately. Yeah, they'll find his black box in here. Oh, to be picky, but pumas aren't really known for flying. I do think. Look, Twiggy! Oh, wait, wait, wait. You missed her. Oh, mm. man. And he immediately uses his powers for peeping. <laughs> Thank you. You do not abandon. I kiss my frog in your honor. Snap! 
Okay, why don't you give me that belt back? I'm gonna give it to somebody else. Are you convinced now? I don't know what's going on. I'm afraid to move. You do not fly, but your mind does. Yeah, thanks, Castaneda. You are afraid, but the other you isn't. The other who? Cindy Lou who? Don't. Tell me the truth, Fidinho. Who am I? You have the blood of the gods coming from other worlds. Ooh, god blood is hard to get out. Hmm. You are the Puma man. It's not possible. It's not possible. We're out of Triscuits? Tremendous leaps. That wasn't a man. It was a cat jumping. Finally, we found him. Mr. Wright. Now the only task is to kill him. Hmm? And that's the easiest job of all. The hardest job is growing hair. Yeah, have another beer, honey. Ugh, I let that creepy paleontologist kiss me. His gooey lips are all over me. We're almost there. We're about to turn around. You ready to go into action? Um, good buddy. <laughs> Shake it! Shake it! Driving Donald Pleasance around. Yeah, shake it! <laughs> it's scoliosis man here. Check, please. Now. Gods are dragging him by the elastic in his BVD. Herbie, the love silver shadow. So Pleasance and his thugs are just spinning cookies on a construction site? <laughs> Great, the gods got me in a holding pattern here. Oh, I sense danger. Are criminals genetically drawn to construction sites? <laughs> Whoa, his pants came clean off. Don't lose your footing. I mean, flying power. I can see the same thing, only it's really red. Jetsons are flying overhead. Hey, hey guys, look at me. I'm going to jump. Watch. Ow, my ankles. It's too much mustache. He's pushing the envelope. Idiots. Get off my lap. <laughs> Get moving. Comb the area. Find him. Kill him. Donald's only used for the word comb. I just heard it. Sam Elliott is Ted Turner in the Gregory Peck story. You know, this is nice. I'm going to break out of the racket and open a little pie place here. <laughs> Let go of me! Let go! I want to know where Cobra's hiding the mask. I don't know. Tell me or I'll drop you. You idiot. What do you think's going to happen if you shoot me? You'll die. Right. Let's see what would happen to you. Help! I'm falling at a 60 degree angle, breaking all the laws of physics. Are you going to cooperate or do you want to end up like the gun? Put me down! Not until you talk. I don't know anything. I get my orders from Rocco. Uh, where's the hideout? It's a secret. Oh, Only oh. a few people know. And you're not one of them, right? Then we have nothing to talk about. Bye, pal. Ah! I'll tell you! <laughs> my mustache makes me fall sideways! It's in a mansion. I swear, in a mansion. Mm -hmm. But I don't know where. No one who's ever been there remembers it. Really? Everyone who goes there doesn't talk. So no one who doesn't go there doesn't not talk? They can't remember anything. They can't remember anything, I swear. I swear. Would you stop holding me by my nipples? <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, don't leave me hanging here. Tell me who shot JR. Come on. Oh, the gods are snuggling me! Dwarf on rituals. <laughs> Ooh, you had a cow flop? What the... They protected you. Yeah. You didn't help me find out where Cobras is hiding the mask. It's in a mansion. That's all I could find out. Fine. What do you mean, fine? You know how many mansions there are in London? Probably like a billion. I said fine. You can find it. You must learn new powers. All you do is concentrate. Here? No, we go home. 
so they can get us? They'll be waiting there for me. They're probably worrying right now because I'm late. Afraid something happened to me. Are Pumas also known for their whining? Yes. Follow me. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you over here. Puma man, Liberace with Dockers. <laughs> Puma man, when will he find love? Well, look, you call it corn, I call it maize, we'll never get along. That's where I almost lost my virginity, over there. I planes weenie. What's this supposed to be? My refuge. It fits your proportions. You have a small, whiny warehouse for me? Is this where you sleep? Did you kill a pig here? What is this? How do you sleep on that? Are you poor? Ooh. How one sleeps does not matter. How one wakes up is important. Neil. Uh, the name's Tony, actually. Are you sure they're up there listening to you? Of course. And are they powerful? Absolutely. Then why don't they give us a hand? They always do. Only we do not usually know it. You know it now. Neil. No, no, Tony, remember I... Oh, oh. Make silence in you. Leave all material things behind. All my fabric? Become part of the cosmos. Billions and billions of Puma men. Concentrate your mind on the image of the god Puma. <laughs> Have you done this, brother? I'm sorry, I wasn't listening. Yes. Good. Now think hard of that mansion. Concentrate. You will find it. Can't get the pina colada song out of my head. And now prepare. You must take the great trip. We're going to Grandma's? Dive into the nothingness. Watch MTV? Return to the surface where the sacred mask is. How is that possible? Everything is possible for the mind. Well, most minds. Concentrate. You must have faith in your powers, in your heart. In your ropey little arms. If you want to, you will travel. Go! No, no, not that kind of go! <laughs> Prepare the effeminate mobile. Yes. 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 Hi, guys. What's up? You oh. are the one. The gods have picked you. You are Koatamundi, man. And it is time to don your hero's costume. Your yes. Koatamundi look will inspire fear in the superstitious criminal mind. Okay, well, I'll give it a whirl, you know, if I've been chosen and all. Evil beware. <laughs> Koatamundi man is born this day. <laughs> okay, I'll just put on my stuff. you got kind of a rota vest going here, it looks like. And, ooh, uh, Dr. Who scarf. Yes, and with all the attendant powers of this majestic Koatamundi, Mundi. Yes. For instance, um, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, and for example, uh, um, well, uh, uh, well, you can uh, shoot uh, magnetic uh, laser beams from your uh, from your nose. Yes, yeah, yeah. yes, yes. And now he is the mighty yet mysterious Kawata Mundi. Uh, his powers are yours. It is your destiny. Uh, okay. Well, you know what, destiny or not, you guys, I really had my heart set on those cold leftover sesame noodles. So. Uh, I'll be your mythical hero later, okay? But, but, but wait, don't me. you hear? Your inspiring hero's theme song is playing. Listen. Oh, and see? The gods are coming from space to tell you you must serve, or evil will triumph. Oh, wow. I see a uh, beach ball and a string and a string and a pulley, and then there's Gypsy. Hey, Gypsy. <laughs> That's all right. She's doing the will of the gods. Just pay no attention to her. Uh, well, you know what? Hey, Gypsy, I really am going to grab those noodles. You want to split them with me? Mm, yummy. Okay, let's go. But, but, oh. There goes our gods. Huh. Huh. Well, uh, it would appear that he is not yet ready to accept his Koatamundi nature. Uh, uh, yes, and the gods are yes. certainly, uh, yes. and the gods yes. will be, man, they're going to finish all the cold sesame noodles. Uh, no, let's go. Yeah, let's just movie sign. Uh, we're not going to get any. Sesame noodles, didn't you? Yeah, they're, they're all man. gone. Help me, Father! My homework is really hard. 
Excuse me, coming through. Bold, Mike. Help me, Father! I need a couple of bucks to make rent. Help me, Vadinho! Help me, Vadinho! Help, help me, Vadinho! We have cats. Oh no, that's me. Would you take that off? Look, just don't use the holodeck anymore, huh? If you don't know how to use it. Thank you. Guy who lives on the second floor. You're pretty. Ooh. Did you find it? No. Well, what are you doing? I thought you were gonna find it. I mean, it's okay. I just I thought you were gonna find I it. I learned that I can only project myself to a place that I know. I have to know exactly where I want to go. Otherwise, I'll get lost in the nothingness. So it's off to Hooters. Then we are no closer. So you whizzed it. Listen, Vadinho. Are you a kind of onion? <laughs> is finding the mask the only way? Yes. If we do not succeed, terrible things will happen. The gods will give you the wet look. They have lost their connection. The network is done. The mask is serving evil. Can't they do anything from up there? The man is free. Man is master of himself. Man sounds cool. But if they come, man is no longer free. Man can get pricey. You must concentrate. You will find the solution in your mind. Uh, I think we saw the limits of his mind just a few minutes ago. Uh, let's not be roommates anymore, okay? I'm thinking of having my chin smaller. I'm in the fire truck for USA up all night. <laughs> Soundtrack by my little brother's Casio. I keep dreaming of a little man in a tiny car. Ah, hi. <laughs> Where did you come from? Out there. What sort of a story is that? I'm the poor man. Who is this guy? Somebody out of a comic strip? I never heard of him. He didn't materialize until yesterday. Well, are you getting anything out of it? Mostly trouble. I told you, Tony, if you want adventure, why don't you join up with us? It's all the sports you can take, high jump, low jump, you get a free sauna at the end of it. I'll keep that in mind, Martin. But in the meantime, you wouldn't happen to have a transmitter and receiver to lend me, would you? You mean a position indicator? Yeah. Hey, an old donut back here. Here's a pacemaker, thanks for letting me borrow it. How does it work? The closer you get, the more constant the bleed. Hmm? Over what range? Up to two miles. Okay. If you slow down, I'll get out. We here? No, I'm going the other way. What did you say you'd do, the sandwich man? No, the puma man. That's a whole different bag. What are you advertising? Men from outer space. He is the puma man. He can get out of a car going three miles an hour. The queen. A steering column plunged through his chest. That's great. Boss control of me bladder. Sorry, mate. You have the jaws of life on you. I have a good mind to join a marching band. Yo, <laughs> so where am I going to get another personal fire truck? I did deserve all those beatings as a child. Cupid. Here he comes. Light the candles. He's trying to net some tuna and we got this thing. Call him. He's playing with mommy's lipstick. Spaghetti. Eat it. Stop your mommy. More ketchup, please. Don't worry about me. Watch out. There's this trolling motor on there. Ooh, I think he officially bonked them. beat me fine, but to drape a net on me? <laughs> and then they snagged on me and called me Prince Valiant and said I had a stupid fakey religion. <laughs> Don't let them net me. Save yourself. Disappear. Please do it. Do the hustle. <laughs> Score, it's good. 
into this piece of drywall. He's just doing his floor routine. There he is! Ow, 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 I'm dead, okay? Ow, ow! The molasses! I don't even think he knows these guys are here, just playing around. Whee, this is fun! I love Steffi Maiman. And 10 to 12 hours, they should be out of ammo. My k pop Just want to check your axle here. Ah, so this lousy movie ruins a perfectly good Jaguar. All right, what's going on? The Archangel Dwayne. Sony, you have power in your hands. Hmm? Your hands are closed. Sorry, I forgot to tell you about that. Hey, the man can rip through pure contact paper. <laughs> I am joining your carpool. These poor guys aren't even the villains. They just came to get some stuff out of their used store. Well, time to drop in on the Super Bowl at halftime. Meanwhile, in Georgie Girl. Oh, she's driving the cameraman to school. Snoopy. I'm just drunk and pops into old girlfriend's car. Tony, how'd you get here? Never mind, drive. He said. But they'll kill you if they find you. Cobras wants to kill you. And they're following me. They're right behind me. Never mind. Tell me where the mask is. Get your copy at Blockbuster. Don't ask me that. I can't. Mm -hmm. I swear I'd like to, but I can't. I'm conditioned to keep the secret just like everyone. I can't do it. Try. Fight him. Fight him with your will. But my will won't. I, I, I can't. He's commanding me from a distance. Amelia Airhead. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> Tony, help me. Free me. Something terrible is happening to me. And to everyone. Help me. Don't leave me. Is that a helmet or a hat or what the... Sorry, we stopped for Slurpees. There they are. Run. Run. Save yourself. Play your theme music and hop around. We now revisit Brideshead and we revisit it. It's one of Sting's cabins. She's visiting Helena Bonham Carter. Man, with those boots, she has to use high altitude baking directions. <laughs> now, Mr. McGregor's about to shoot them. Uh oh, he's in defib. Get the crash cart stat! This is a test of the audience's patience. <laughs> Think we're gonna sell a lot of these. Hey, a raccoon. Goldfinger's riding with octopussy. I'll go mess up and you save me. Meet me in the laboratory. And don't ever outdress me again. Can't believe you guys mooned us back there. It's confirmed. They brought a bunt cake. High-ranking officers. What the hell are they doing here? Book club. Ah, my posse. Let the cookie exchange begin. Hey, hey, hey wait. I don't want to sit next to Pinochet. A couple of dictators brought dictator friends so they had to put in the leaf. Time to plan the NATO picnic. <laughs> Gentlemen, I'm so glad that you considered my house a suitable place for this summit meeting. No, I wish you'd told me. I'm going to leave you now to make your decision. Uh, who wants what on your pizza? Can you believe what he's wearing? I just got it. Hope you brought swim trunks. <laughs> Seems strange that we don't know anything about him. He's not in our file. 
Quite. Tá. Besides being a charming host, what credentials can this Mr. Cobras offer us? He's unknown to our services as well. That means he's not compromised. No one else wore a cape. He's no merit to elude our security. This means he's so smart he can do it. That's a distorted way of reasoning. Is it distorted to ask why the summit meeting of the heads of state of the entire world My must be is held here. on private property? It's customary to hold this kind of meeting in reserve in selected locations. Everything becomes less formal. It's not the first time. But does this mansion offer sufficient guarantees? It's so great that they want to see my cabaret act. I better get my wiener wraps out of the oven. She has her roots black for some reason. We <laughs> Used to have a carny running that ride, but the salary got too much. This will take a little bit. I'm still installing windows. Do you guys like North Korea? I sure don't. I'll use my powers of looking things. <gasps> There's another meeting over there. Goldfinger got Mike Tyson. No, no. The Botany 500 man. Uh-oh, I left the meeting on too long. Now we see through a glass dumbly. Shimmy, shimmy, cocoa pop. Shimmy, shimmy, pop. We're all agreed then. Carrot Top is the best comic. Yes, much better than Yahoo Serious. They tried to resell this as a Hallmark Christmas special when it didn't get a theatrical release, you know. <laughs> really? Yeah. <sighs> well, I'm just going to go get our water. Fine, gentlemen. We can go home. <laughs> you will receive further instructions at the proper time. Yeah, this was great. We should do it again sometime. Great to see you guys. Let's take the scenic way back. Man out of quarters. The men who control the destiny of the world will be here. Barry Diller here? When the world is mine, I alone will decide whether it is to be war or peace, life or death. Stuffing or potatoes. According to the new order which I shall establish. Hey, do the Plantagenets have a burning permit? They immediately slap Molly Hatchet in the tape deck. <laughs> you will never again leave me for this irrational feeling you call love. Mm. I have an assignment for you. Tony Farms is the Puma Man. Puma Man. The Puma Man is my enemy. Puma Man. Whoever is my enemy is your enemy as well. He must die. Anyway, toes on the line, look up a little. <laughs> he must die. And you shall be the one to kill him. Yeah. 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 Comes looking for you. Greet him, smile at him. Buy him a beer. But you will be ready. Take this gun. I've got plenty. I'll never use it. Please take it. When he comes near you, shoot him. Oh, can I do it tomorrow? I got a nail wrap schedule. Kill him. Finish him off. Put funny things on him. Show people his butt. It will be the greatest act of love. So go to Stuart Anderson's with him, then sleep with him. Got it. Is this a Glock I see before me? It will be an act of love hmm? from you to me. Do you understand me? Or am I talking to my heads here? What? <laughs> hey, a statue of Whoopi Goldberg. Hey, Sandra Locke's going to take the direct approach with Clint. The slack-wearing superhero. Right, careful, you're gonna clip one of the heads. <laughs> love to love you, baby. Oh. I can fly two miles an hour. <gasps> Constantly out of his league, man. 
his fortress of balditude. Lazarian, featuring the music of Donald Pleasance. <laughs> He's the kind of guy who'd stick his tongue in a frozen flagpole twice. Yeah, he's as cat-like as Boog Powell. Uh. Oh, blew a breaker. Someone must be using the toaster. Stop! Your powers are worn out. Finish! Done! Completed! Red bear, shiny at the elbows! You cannot escape me, Puma Man! Puma Man! Please. Oh, is that right, Dionald? You're just a small, insignificant human being. That's human being. Oh, no. No, actually, that's... I'm supposed to come up with a snappy retort, and I can't. This is where the little elevator really pays off. <laughs> um, are you leaning on the switch over there? Uh, say the door is like two steps to the right. Ah, it's one of those prefab English castles. Well, Puma, honey, if you keep your legs up, you'll go faster. Tony Farms. Raises soybeans. You must obey me. At all times, he has the look of a man who's been hit with a fish. <laughs> Destroy your palace! Oh no, he won't. Whoa, oh, look out! Oh, oh, this is English lady. Oh, I'm trying to fly in a thing. Let's go back with it. Okay, okay. Oh, God, I said that. Whoa. I will destroy your mind. I will bunch up your package so it's very uncomfortable. <laughs> I got a new jacket. Long to me now. I have the title to your head. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You cannot escape me. Oh, oh there go my keys, my wallet, my condom. <laughs> you can no longer jump into space. Look out below, half digested fish and chips coming down. Okay, okay, I got it. Because you are made of earth. Corn grows in you. And to earth you shall return. That's an odd thing to say, even for him. And there goes the $25 million restoration of Westminster Abbey. <laughs> he lost his inherent Puma tuck pointing skills. <laughs> Puma man. <laughs> hey, look, he's refenestrating. See? Do the hustle. Mm -mm 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 if I can get up there in time, I can push him out. One. Oh. Puma man. <laughs> Cry and fall, is that what you said? <laughs> Two. Puma Man's friend. <laughs> First save me, then change me. Tony Farms. He has 40 acres. Your body no longer belongs to you. The forces of the Cosmo have turned you over to me. Are the heads eating potato chips? <laughs> Come back to me. I order you to return. Mark Schnell. I am waiting for you. Ah! I'm back on catnip, man. You gotta help me. <laughs> help me, Virginia. He's calling me. Can you hear him? Can you hear him? I oh. can't fight it. Calm yourself. Ah! I can't let <laughs> you go. in the scenery. You know you're lost. They'll kill you. <laughs> you, must, you must resist. Repeat with me. Each man is a god. Each man is free. Do not think of anything else. Concentrate! Repeat. Repeat with me. With me. Each man is a god. Each man is free. Each man is a god. Each man is a god. Each man is free. Mm -hmm. Each man is free. 
Each man is a god. Each man is a weenie. Each man is a god. Each man is free. Each man is a puss. Each okay. These walnuts are good. Mr. Forbes is here if you want to go for a ride. <laughs> I've taken away his power. So that's done anyway. And his will is broken. Huh. But he's putting up an unexpected resistance. Hmm. I'll take care of it. Comb the area. Find him. But don't make any noise. I don't want any trouble around here. Because the police would find out I'm pirating cable. Break a few more wills before lunch, then meet some despots down on Fridays. Puma man. Puma man. Boy. Puma man. I am ordering you. I am ordering you. A fajita. Is that okay? To kill yourself. John Boy Walton. Mm, I like the other head better. It's all right, Virginia. It's over. Oh, great. So can, can we go, Mike? Uh, no, no. Listen, I want you to hear my epitaph. I'm with stupid. <laughs> he wasn't much in his life, either as a man or a puma man. And now he's worth absolutely nothing. The same as when he was alive. Mm -hmm. It's not true. You are a worthy man. You're worthy of a beating. You will be all right. Only if I lose a habit. Which one? Nose picking? Public farting? <laughs> Wanting to live! Gotta cock these windows quick. Come on, just let me be a big giant baby. <laughs> oh, let me go! I just want to help you die with a modicum of dignity. You die, you don't suffer anymore! You don't have a master! You must not die, brother! For you! For me! For Jay! For all who want to live free! Listen to me! Whoa! Perhaps there is a way. Only ten minutes, but you can do it. Go to a deep sleep, a false death! Ten minutes with no life. It is in your power. Well, well I'm just sore is all. <laughs> Corpus does not know it. He cannot take it from you. Please get off. I'm feeling funny down Hold there. Hold your breath. Your heartbeat can slow down. I just have to not wiggle. Diminish. I mean, anybody would feel this, right? It's natural, right? Stop. So pumas are suicidally depressive mouth breathers? We show you now the general vicinity of the heart. That is right, Tony. Let yourself go. Stop working out. You are dead. You are dead for all. Yeah. Even for cobras. Duh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ding, ding. Ding, 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 ding. Go. Hey, look what we made, Mike. Why, that looks like a... Well, that looks for all the world like a replica of the head of Roger Whitaker. <laughs> we made it with our genuine Aztec mask. Yeah. Wow, that's great. You know, I can hear him sing right now. I left my ship out in the harbor. <laughs> I assumed you gained control of his mind and his will. Oh, yeah. oh, there's no other reason I can think of to own a replica of the head of Roger Whitaker. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But uh, I have to ask why. Why Roger Whitaker? Why not say Barbara Felden? Felden or... Right, we thought of that. Okay, Mike, and Sting, and Chipmunk, and Senator John Warner. And Puff Daddy, yep. and Al Checky, and Webb Pierce, and Judy Carn, and Joan Sutherland. And George Lindsay, and Barbara Bush. And people like that. And yeah. Mike, when you only have time to effectively control one person. We have other things to do, Mike. Then Roger Whitaker is the perfect choice. Take our word for it. Mm -hmm. It's who we got. Now, what do you want to do with him? Oh, me? Well, um, I, I can't think of anything at all. Oh, oh. God. Use your imagination, man. Yeah. It's Roger Whitaker. I mean, that means song, sure, but he can probably do other things. Uh -huh. You know, light typing and filing. Hey, maybe you need help with your hand wash there. No, there no, I don't. I, I, frankly, I think it's a waste of time. Oh, fine. <laughs> we go to all this trouble, hand Mike Roger Whitaker, and he drops the ball. Brother, here's the wheel, here's Mike. The, uh, what do I do with this? <laughs> Well, you can just go on with your Roger Whitaker free life, you poor sap. But the next time you need to hear Durham Town, you're on your own. Good luck. Remember, though, we control Roger Whitaker. That's right. So watch your back. Yes. Roger Whitaker could be on you at any moment. There he is! Whoa! Uh, I'm kidding. Oh, wow. This time. Yeah, look at him run. We'll be right back, everybody. <laughs> In the meantime, be on the lookout for Roger Whitaker. <laughs> 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 Oh, 
There he is, Roger Whitaker. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared. Oh, I overdid it on the fancy feast. Later, Ma Barker and the gang come to finish him off. Tee hee, tee hee. Oh, they're here and the cupcakes are still in the oven. Friends are visiting from murder. <laughs> Puma Man. It's Cliff Clavin. Hey, Cliffy. So let's cut his ears and paws off. We get the 50 buck bounty. <laughs> so tense right here. <laughs> Tell Santa I love him. You won't get my Amontillado. <laughs> He's had it. Chicken pox. You won't catch it from us. Okay, thanks. So anyway, do you have it in Loden? We found him. He's committed suicide. Should I put a bullet in him just to be sure? No, that would be cheating. No, it has to look like an unfortunate accident. <laughs> but be sure that he's dead. You can count on it, sir. Boss says I'm in charge and I get your lunch today and you drive. Can't you just accept it, Tom? I don't know, I just, I don't know. Tee <laughs> Why do I have to stay in the car? You couldn't find a corpse. More dead than this one. Hmm? What are you gonna do with the body? Leave him like he is. Are they gone? Oh. I have slacks like that. No, see, this was just really avoidable. I was alive for a second, now I'm dead again, go away. Why did you shoot him? Because Cobra said not to. You are so Cobra whipped, man. <laughs> I'm just thinking about the last dead guy who sprang up and killed half our men. Ooh, it seems like I have you in a bit of a bind, don't I, Mr. Dead Human? <laughs> Hate to see you sneeze right now. Ooh, here's the deal. I don't make you sneeze and you give me your poop for the rest of your life. Ooh. Even when dead, his hair looks terrific. Just, uh, I just have a really hard time making decisions, you know, you guys? It Puma Man! No, I, I feel good about our decision, I do. No, well, let's go back! No, 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 forget it. I... Certainly this is a victory for good. You've succeeded. Hmm? They think you're dead, and now they will leave you alone. To be left alone, the goal of every great hero. Yeah. <laughs> but what about the mask? Forget it. You are only a man now. You cannot do it. Did I say man? You're not a man. You're like a box turtle. <laughs> I'm getting out of here. Do I get to keep the cape? Oh. Yeah, I'm finally gonna get my pennies counted anyway. And that dynamite is for that bastard Cobras? I said forget it. And should I also forget Jane? And the fact that Cobras wants to take over the world? Yeah, 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 yeah. Perhaps the gods have abandoned us. Or perhaps they want sacrifice. What sacrifice? My life. You want to destroy Cobras with a suicide action? There's got to be another way. Cobras has the police and all those who command in his power. A little doobage for later. I must go. Why you? I'm the high priest. I'm responsible. And if the death of one man can save many, that death is right. And the death of two men is just as right. Let go my death. You have no power now. And there's no reason for you to pay. I have a personal reason. But the price is too high. You don't come. Damn hardhead, stop giving orders. I won't let you go alone. You are right, brother. Orville or Wilbur? No. I ask you to forgive me. But you don't come. Try and stop me. I ask you to forgive me. Forgive you what? 
I've been seeing another superhero. <laughs> Kaboom! Oh, yes, the Aztec right, speaks right. for all of us! <laughs> Say hello to the nice people, Puma Man. Hello, people. Deliver this ham, then I'll leave. Oh wait, it's it's back there. What the hell? <laughs> Aztec drove to Wisconsin, scored some M80s. Yeah. Woo. The kids are gonna love Easter morning. <laughs> oh man, we got Aztecs. Hold up where you are, or I'll kill you. I've got a members only jacket. <laughs> Shoot. And everything will blow up for a mile in all directions. Oh, didn't have quite the impact I was hoping. Tell Cobras I want to speak to him. Oh, forget it. I'm never going to get through for Yanni tickets. Yeah. All right, Craig T. Nelson, make me laugh. It's an Aztec family Christmas. What do you want? The gold mask. With your face sweat cleaned out. I'm sure we could reach some sort of agreement. Lead him into the great hall. Treat him like an honored guest. I'll join you. Oh, big Aztec. So, uh, what about Montezuma? Nice guy, or...? Tony's alive. Don't eat saliva, I wouldn't even think of it. That was an odd series of smells. Mm. Do the hustle! Come on, do the hustle. Mm. Oh. Ooh, and he put butter under my skin and pushed cloves of garlic in me. Mm. Oh, my cat's cradle got out of control. <laughs> I'm going to try to control the recycling guy because I didn't sort my stuff very good this month. Do you have a great little boy's room here? Step forward. Now spin around. Let me see how those slacks fit in the back. Space. Wow, what a strict department of motor vehicles. Who are you? Why do you want the mask? In order to be smoking! Shut Don't each man ever, is a god. Don't ever do that again. Each man is free. Each man is a god. So if each man is a god, where does that each leave the god? Is free. Each man is free. Look, he didn't ask for your each yearbook man quote. Is free. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, indeed, you are free. Each man is free. You're free to obey me. You cannot escape my will nor resist me. Yeah, I gotta agree with him on that one. I can make you wobble. Obey me. Each man is free. How about guys in jail? They're not free. How about guys in gulag? Each man is free. Ah, let him go, boss. He's so sincere. I gotta drill some eye holes closer together in this thing. It's so annoying. Each man. Take those explosives from your body. Little orphan Aztec. <laughs> Don't do it! I went to the barber and said, give me a haircut like Mary Gross. <laughs> Pick up woo! Pick up woo! Hand them to the person next to you. On which side? Does it matter? Either one? You know, at some point, the world has got to stop letting idiots like this almost take it over. Carefully. Well, I also got some bottle rockets in my socks. That's right. That's good, baby. <laughs> so, basically, the hero is this guy. I think it's time we face that fact. On all the Reader's Digest condensed books.
Oh, Joe Theismann really hurt this time. Man, I'm having phantom pains like you wouldn't believe. I wonder if my girlfriend would do that for me. You look kind of weird, Mike. Hmm? Hmm. Where's the candy? <laughs> Must run farther away from the danger. A medicine ball! Oh no, it's down its face. Well, each man is a punching bag, I guess. Mm. Each man is Gary Corey. Everybody was Aztec fighting. <laughs> oh, great. You know what? I've got it. Don't worry yourself. A cantaloupe. Oh, it's yeah, it's not. Yeah, no, it's okay. Phrenologists! So it turns into a good old Hal Needham movie. Dicks read all selection and service. Tonight or drug, we're busting up prices. <laughs> you know, I have almost no respect for Pumas now. I, I now know that if I ever run into a Puma, I can just push it the hell over. Yep. The wall didn't bend, ignore that. Quit playing back there. When you want the flavor of bacon in a dip. <laughs> I wish poaching protected species man would show up and take care of this sin. You call uh, Ted Newton's man? Yeah. I can't get it out of first. Take that, members of Boston. Hey, but didn't you? You gotta try this. It's fun. Wee! It's Archie Rice Man. <laughs> Jump ball. Believe it or not, this movie's still on. It should have ended two hours ago. Is that Donald Pleasance? I want to get his autograph. Beyond Donald Dome. <laughs> Yes, Pumas have instinctive knowledge of wiring and home construction. Sure, I'm a deadly Puma. Be frightened of me. <laughs> Didn't think he'd sink that low. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ali, Ali, oxen free. Okay, I'll give him a purple Herman, then a jock lock. And... Don't ever mention Donald's jock again. Mm, that's a good idea. Could I borrow a cup of bald? Please, no, I had a terrible childhood. I'll harm you. It's Joe Besson now. Mm. Mm. You will drop your pants to your ankles and walk through town saying, I am a ninny. Oh, well, make sure you set it on bald. <laughs> Don't jiggle. Mom wants a nice picture for Christmas. Time to call semi-competent Aztec man again. Hey, you look at this beautiful hardwood floor they covered up. There's a layer of nougat in this house. I'm sensing danger. Oh, that's mildew. Perhaps now would be a good time to jump around like an idiot. The castles are nice, but they're not big on livable basement space. Wool over his eyes, man. Easily bamboozled, man. Three steps behind, man. Now, world, get used to being run by Donald Pleasance. I guess he sensed danger. <laughs> this is Flying Officer Donald Pleasance with the traffic report. Between sessions of staring at his wigs, he became an accomplished pilot. <laughs> Oops, missed him. Better go home. I did what I could. A peach. Oh, that's Donald. Yeah, yeah. I know. Rest taking London. <laughs> oh. 
the fat-free yogurt that's not short on flavor. It's all over, Cobras. Ryan Timothy Cobras, you land this helicopter right now. <laughs> Great. The bending metal doors, no problem for doing stocky senior citizens. That's another story. Well, it got hard. Bye. Whoa, the network shouldn't have bought Kelsey Grammer a helicopter. Man. Burn an old man, singe all his flesh off. Well, <laughs> <laughs> then the gods fulfill their holy plan to roast a man in a helicopter. Thank you, pasta necklace. <laughs> oh, man, this thing is really rank. Crew cake hearts of the gods. Hey, Vidalia, would you mind worshipping for us? I think we're just going to get going. Evil has been defeated. Their protection has not failed. I did most of it. Do they also protect couples in love? Respect. Whoa. Places like this were created by them to make contact. And other cold remedies. Neil. Look, I told you, my name's Tony. Man, I thought we were getting close. And, oh, I see. Man, get a room. Oh, holy salt lick. You know, if the spaceman puma thing turns out to be the correct religion, I for one will be very surprised. Yeah. <laughs> Yay, sky! There's a place where there's sky! This is indeed a blessed day. It'd be fun to take a three-wheeler up there. Air is pretty. These three are the only ones stupid enough to let the spacemen play with them. The, the rain's gonna totally frizz out my hair for our date. Stonehenge is a chain? Apparently. Uh, hi, uh, say, did anyone see a mask? Oh, uh, your regular god was busy, so he sent me instead. Yeah, it was the second amulet kiss that got him here. Zap. You know, sometimes the gods make extra money giving people rides. They do. Ah, you guys took me seriously, suckers! I'm just gonna toss it on another planet and see who bites. The gods. <laughs> gods. Oh crap, it's that Aztec guy. whole Bible thing? Bunch of hooey. It's all about aliens and spinning globes. Yep. They are pleased with you up there. I mean, I didn't tell them everything. But I'm not happy with them down here. What's going to happen to the mask? Hey, who the hell is that little pipsqueak? They are taking it back to its temple in the Andes Mountains. Where some other villain will take it. And I'm going with them. Does that mean you're going to disappear too? Yeah, they're going to whack me. Tell me the truth, Vidinho. Are you one of them? Me? No, I'm Jewish. We all are a bit. But if you want to see me again... Don't. When you are the father of the small Puma man, take him to the plateau. And drop him off. I will teach him the powers. I'll give you a good rate, because you're good people. Goodbye, brother. Goodbye, sister. <laughs> Goodbye, brother. Honor it. Little titty twister from the gods. <laughs> Don't worry. Goodbye, Puma man. Uh, is there anything I should tell the people about truth and beauty? No, I don't think so. Should we love each other? No, nah, don't worry about it. That you may there's only you in my life. Keep your cat pox clean, my friend. Watch out for urinary tract infections. So long! <laughs> yeah, only the gods could produce something as beautiful as that. This is all the gods can do. I'm over to the dark side so fast. <laughs> Goodbye, Fepu Maimon. Carry on your tradition of flying clumsily with your rear end in the air. And we hear the dim cry of an anal probe. <laughs> you know what? I never liked your friend. I don't want him in our wedding. Um, there's no afterlife. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the 
bodies of six gods were found after their ship crashed into a mountain just outside London. Jane, tell me it wasn't a dream. You can prove it for yourself. Jump! Yeah. Might as well jump. Ready? Here we go. Jeez, I wouldn't trust this guy to hold a door open for me. <laughs> You've got to fly me over to Bennigan so I can show Sherry. Now I'm going to dig my spurs into your hindquarters. <laughs> I've never seen anybody make love in the air. But that's how you make little puma men. Oh, and he immediately <laughs> defiles the holy gift given to him. Now they're going to boff in the air. <laughs> There's only you in my life. <laughs> Stop that. Starring the Gambino family and some English guy. Theology contained within this picture may not be wholly accurate. Consult your doctor before embarking on a theology program. And remember to buy Puma Man cat box filler. Less dust, better clumping. Yep, this is music to praise the gods, that's for sure. Glory to our space gods in the highest glory of... Oh, Mike, this movie just tears it for me. I'm going to resign. Yeah, I, I quit. I'll, I'll see you around. I don't think you can do that. I can do that. It's not over yet. Crow. And glory to the human. Crow. Crow. Would you cut that out? Goofy as tech mask. Stop that. Obey. Well, here it is. I'm officially tendering my resignation. Okay. Uh, wow, looks very professional. No, stop trying to talk me out of this, Mike. I've made up my mind. Obey. Who knows? Maybe somewhere out there is a guy who's forced to watch good movies. <laughs> well, so long, fellas. It's really been a good ride. Okay, we'll see you then. Hey, everyone! I'm back! Hey, the place looks great! Hey, how are you guys? Good. You know, you know, I'm freelance now, and oh. it's really going good. Yeah. Say, any uh, any chance you have something here for me? Well, I, uh... uh, right now, there's only part-time, and you won't get benefits. Oh, fine, fine, fine! Okay. Whoa, I'm employed again. Man, what a stressful episode in my life that was. Ooh, I don't know how I survived. I didn't even know you left. Hey, uh, we better check on Pearl. Uh, how's the ball going, Pearl, huh? Wow. Ball schmall. Nobody came except Bobo, and he snapped his tether and joined Brain Guy and the 70 other people who just showed up. Just listen to that. How is this going to look to my ghostly ancestors? Isn't there anybody up there who can give me a break just this once? Why don't? Could it be? Hello, Pearl. Mellow folk sensation Roger Whitaker. How did you get here? Well, I sailed in and left my ship out in the harbor. Oh, Roger, you've saved my ancestral ball. Well, I'm glad to, for you are beautiful. Roger. Join me in my evil plans. Well, I'd love to, Pearl, but tomorrow for all England, she said. Yes, perfect. You sail to England, contact all your henchmen, Glen Yarborough, Pete Seeger, the Kingston Trio, and I will assemble an army of aging folk singers, and together we will either. Do you think you're going? But Pearl, they're singing Asia songs in there. One more move and you're dead, Whitaker. Ha <laughs> ha, I have no fear of death. It brings no sorrow. Oh yeah? Fear this, you bearded freak. 